Here is a map from Trove Northwest Europe showing all the oil and gas fields and discoveries across the region. In the yellow box is the Alma field, which will be the focus of this video, located on the southwestern flank of the central Graben. So Alma was originally named Argyle, with Duncan and Innes as the satellites. It was later developed as Ardmore, and finally, it has been redeveloped as Alma and Gallia by Enquest. So how does Alma compare to other Northwest Europe fields? This data comes from Trove Northwest Europe. We can see at depths of around 10,000 feet, the fields contain fairly average porosities, uh, slightly higher than you'd expect temperatures, and slightly high pressures for the depth. This is a screenshot of some of the open source data that has been compiled to create Trove. Looking at the geology of the area, we see that there are three main producing horizons. In the Permian, we have Zechstein carbonates and Rotligen sandstone, and then a deeper reservoir, we have Devonian sandstones. The structural setting for this field is a tilted fault block to the southwest of the central graben, located in block 3024. So now we'll just look at a history of the field and its different names and redevelopment schemes. Initially, the field was called Argyle, and it was discovered in 1971 by Hamilton Brothers. It was actually the first UKCS producing oil field coming on stream in 1975. It was drilled by semi-sub Transworld and abandoned in 1992 after 17 years of production. The satellites surrounding Argyle were known as Duncan and Innes. The redevelopment named the field Ardmore. The acreage here was acquired by Tuscan and Acorn. It was drilled this time by a jack-up rig and only remained on production for two years, being abandoned in 2005. And finally, the most recent redevelopment named the field Alma. And this was acreage acquired by Enquest in 2010, the 26th round, and produced additionally from the original Duncan satellite, this time known as Gallia, and production started in 2015. Looking at the most recent development in a bit more detail, Field this time was produced by an FPSO called the Enquest Producer. This FPSO was formerly known as the Whiskey Gorm and produced from Fife in the adjacent quadrant. Looking at the wells, six producers were drilled in total, two from the Zechstein, one from the Rotlgens, three from the Devonian, and in addition, unlike the previous two developments, water injectors were drilled. In January 2020, Enquest, however, submitted its uh, decommissioning plan for the field just five years after first oil. So how has this reincarnated field fared through history? The next part of this video, we're going to look at the production history of this field, and we're going to be using Trove Production Analysis, which is an in-house tool of first subsurface used to analyze any field where we have the production history. So stage one, Argyle, this contains 17 years of production history. First oil was in 1975. It's produced a total of 74.7 million barrels and an additional 20.9 BCF of associated gas. The water production was 47.1 million barrels. Stage two, known as Ardmore, this is only on production for around two years, the first oil being in 2003. It produced a total of 5.2 million barrels of oil, associated gas 1.7 BCF, and 8.1 million barrels of water produced. 
And thirdly, we have the ALMA redevelopment of this field, the first oil being in 2015. To date, it has produced a total of 6.3 million barrels and uh, the associated gas 1 BCF. And the water produced 26.9 million barrels with 1 million barrels injected water. This shows Gallia's production profile, adding an additional 1.1 million barrels to Alma's production. Here we show the stacked production profile for both Alma and Gallia together since 2015. In green we have oil produced and in the dark and light blue we have water produced. Looking at the production of this field through history, we can see the three stages on this graph here. Firstly, showing Argyle's liquid production, Ardmore's liquid production, and then Alma's liquid production, with these large 10-year periods of shut-off time in between. When we add up the total oil produced from this field, we see that the Ardmore and Alma producing periods have added an additional 11 million barrels to the original Argyle production. And this gives the field a total production so far of 86.5 million barrels of oil. Has this field finally produced its last? Well, we'll have to wait and find out. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, then give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and for information on production profiles, forecasting, and hub analysis reports for every field in the North Sea, email info at firstsom.com.